I'm hoping it's saying that I'm live. But if you look up my screen right now, this is from yes, this is from period one. Right? All of this stuff that's currently on my screen. Now, did anybody click on the link in the Google Classroom? Right, that's from this what we're seeing on the live yeah, I know I'm capturing my screen, but I, I wanted the stuff in the upper left corner you can see is stuff from this morning. And I can go back like 14 minutes in time. If you go to the Google Classroom, you'll see the, it just says RTM. You should be able to paste it into your classroom, though. should work. RTMP? But anyway, the point is, I should be streaming, okay? So I'm going to try to create this, and then when I hit stop, I hope that the video is preserved, okay? So at this point, what you see here is a simple floor plan that you were all received, um, or was, were given last week. My hope is your floor plan is done at this point, Scott, and that you're watching so that you can create this layout. Because once again, all of this work that you've done leads up to turning it in through this. So if you stop working on it now, doing the work in the next few steps is where you get your credit from. Okay, So make sure that you're watching. So I'm going to make a layout using this floor plan that you already designed. Okay, One of the things you're going to notice, though, I have north pointed to the left. I want to make sure all of you can do that, and I want it pointed to the left because it'll keep consistent views that I expect to see. All right? So everybody, make sure you define where north is, and this is how you do it. You're going to click on CAD. You're going to go down to lines, and you're going to choose north pointer, and you're going to click and drag. Okay? So you're going to go to CAD, go over to lines, on your two-dimensional floor plan view, then choose north pointer, and click and drag to the left. You will see the north arrow. Now this is hypothetical. If we actually had a plot of land that existed in the world, we would need to decide where we want our house to face and what, what face faces south or southeast and how many degrees, minutes, and seconds and all that. Hypothetically, we are going to have our faces of our house directly facing northeast, south, and west, perpendicular from each other to make it simple. Okay. So north pointer, you literally click and you drag, right? You can't have north go this way and north go the other way. You can't have two norths. So when you do that, every additional arrow you add will auto-correct the additional north arrows, okay? You only want one arrow, okay? The left side of our house faces north. Does that make sense? Like if you were standing on the left side of your house, Looking out of windows, you will be looking towards the North Pole, right? And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that's the coldest side of your house, the house that should have the least amount of windows if you want to think thermally efficient, all right? But this is all preparation so that we can move forward. Um, so moving forward, we are going to um, create a layout. And everybody, if you want to follow along, I'm going to go slow enough where I think you can do this. All you have to do is hit File, New Layout. We're going to just File, New Layout, and we're going to leave this as a size A sheet. And this is A1, meaning it's the first of guys, ladies, gentlemen. Shh. Jack, you're interrupting my stream, and you're not paying attention. And you are, you are now immortalized into my video now, all right? You're permanently there. So please listen. So once again, this is A1, okay? This isn't the steak sauce. This is A1 meaning size A, sheet one, and we can go all the way down to sheet zero. Sheet zero is your template, so if you had a logo or you want to put your name on every sheet, you go to zero and you put it on once and it's on every sheet moving forward. Now. We're going to keep the size of the paper the way it is by default. Um, you want to make sure that this is defined as a deck. The decks don't have leaves over there. Have, 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 
So same way you would normally define it as a bedroom. Double click the room. So anyway, I have a blank presentation. This is no different than PowerPoint slide one. Okay. So the question is, how do you get your chief architect information that you've already designed onto page one? So you go over to your floor plan. You ask yourself, what would make a good cover page? We already talked about Shift-K, full perspective overview. My house has no windows, so this would be a, a terrible house to present. But you have windows at this point, so it should look a little nicer. Yes. So I want to send what you see up on the screen to the layout. And how we do so is a very simple button. You're going to click File, and you're going to click Send to Layout. It's the second to last option on the bottom. Or, if you remember, control U. OK? So file, send the layout. It's up on the screen. And if you click it, you're going to be given a bunch of options. Please listen. Your options at this point are very important for you to understand. The page number is pretty self-explanatory, where the information goes. Because if you have 30 pages, you might want this on page 18. Okay. For today, it's one. The current screen or current screen as an image. Those two things are very confusing. Jack and Will, second time you're interrupting. Third time is going to be asked to leave. I won't ask you a third time. It'll be there's the door. So the second options, once again, is screen as an image or current screen. Current screen is live. If you change your building, your layout will change. So if you delete a window, the window gets deleted. So a lot of times that's helpful if you're not done making your changes. Let's say uh, your partner was Jack. Jack is sick today. You can't make any more design changes, but you at least make the presentation. So if you leave everything as current screens but not as image, what's going to happen is if later Jack shows back up the next day, your presentation's done. You could go to the design and change it. The presentation will update automatically, just like SolidWorks. That's usually a good thing. But I'm going to show you the reasons why it's a challenge, OK? I only have to send the layout because I'm not finished. OK, so just watch at this point, OK? Just don't send the layout? Nope, just watch what I'm doing. And this video is going to be here for you for the future. So at this point, I'm going to choose current screen as image because it's what most of you are used to, OK? So if you leave it as image and say OK, the exact screen that you had on your monitor before you click that button shows up on page one. So what do I mean by that? Look at my screen again. If I go to this and zoom out and send it, it will go in as an image like that. And all of that white space will be around the picture, and you, will, you won't be able to crop it. Okay, so I'm going to do that at, at a moment just to show you. File, send a layout, current screen as an image. Now when I zoom out, let me see if I can grab it. This is the image. You see the difference between the two? One of them I was zoomed in, one of them I wasn't. These are images now. I cannot make these any bigger or smaller. So the goal is get your view the way you would like to see it on your monitor and then send it to layout and then it goes as shown to you. It's called what you see is what you get. Okay? You can't adjust it out, out, outwards. You have to then delete it and start over. Okay? Another thing, pay attention to this phenomenon. When I shrink, guys, when I shrink my image, it gets smaller as expected, right? That's when I said you're familiar with this. When you send as image, you literally get images that you can rotate, you can shrink, and you can modify. But I'm going to go back to the send as layout to show you the alternative. If you send it as a current screen but not an image, it asks you, live view, always update. Right? And then when you say OK, this image here, if you try to shrink it, look what it did. It's not going to shrink it. It's going to crop it. OK? So when you don't send it as an image, it behaves entirely different. And you're going to go and try to shrink your image. And you're going to go, Mr. Truss, I don't know what I just did. I tried to shrink my image, and now I only have a corner left. So. I would say, for the most part, you're going to leave them as images unless you have a need to. 
leave them as like a live view. Live view will add additional technical problems that I don't think is necessary for you to experience. So really quick, we're just going to go over to um, our shift view. And if you're following along, we're going to make sure your window is filled up with the picture that you want to see. So don't, for me, don't continue. You can just keep watching. Yep. Send as an image. Say OK. It goes to page one. Life is good. You can close your camera view at this point, And you know that page one, your presentation has the house. Page two, up, upper right, I'm sorry, upper middle, you'll see these arrows. Just go to the second page, switch to your floor plan, and I'm actually going to delete this camera because this camera itself um, is just adding additional detail to my drawing that I don't need. So I have a pretty simple floor plan. I'm going to click my north arrow. I'll make it a little smaller. It doesn't necessarily need to be right there. The reason why is I want to see it when I send my floor plan. All right, at this point, same scenario, file, send the layout. I would say current screen as an image should be OK. Page two, say OK. But look what current screen as an image did. Can anybody tell me visually what it did? What did it do that I didn't want to see? What did it do? What do I see? I'm, this is my presentation now. That's what my screen looked like when I sent it. So it, what's all this stuff? It's not white, is it? What do I see? What is it here? If you don't see the grid, that grid is ugly. I shouldn't see the grid, OK? So when you send things as the screen sees it, you might have to turn things off before you send it. So I'm going to delete this, go back to here. And if I want to send this as an image, I would have to, on the right-hand side, shut off my grid. See the grid? Because it's, going to look, it's not going to look like it fits. So I'm going to shut off my grid. Now I'm going to go File, Send the Layout. Save as a current image, page two, and I can shrink it if I want to, right? And if you've noticed, when you click and drag, things don't really go easily on X and Y together. Hold Control down, it breaks your snaps, okay? So make it big enough at this point and fit it in. So that's your floor plan, and this is a pretty simple house. So at this point, there are no additional floors. But what this is actually showing is what direction every room faces, right? And what the building is made up of by room definition. So page three would make sense to show elevations. What's the north side of the house? Let's find the north side. So over here, if I asked you to show me the north side of the house and go and show me and take a picture with a digital camera, you would do this, except you would have a camera in your hand. You're going to click this menu of choices. You're going to choose the top one that's called cross-section elevation. You're going to stand where you normally would look at the north side of the house. You're going to click where you would stand, and you're going to drag where you would look, and you're going to let go. Okay, That is the north side of the house, with no windows, of course. All right, It's not designed to be three-dimensional. It's literally designed to be two-dimensional. Does everyone see on the screen that you can see the elevations of everything? Right? You can see that this ridge is higher than this ridge versus this. And if I gave you an architecture scale, you could extract almost unlimited dimensions from this view. The question is, how do we get it to the layout? Same thing. File, send the layout. And then you could say, I want to show you for the sake of a, the alternative, we're going to do current screen, not as an image, and then we're going to do a scale, OK? Quarter inch equals a foot. That means that one inch equals four feet. Two inches equals eight feet. Four inches equals 16 feet. Our house is about 38, let's say by 40 by 40. So it's going to be like eight. It's going to fit into like an eight inch by eight inch rectangle, approximately, or square, if we choose this scale. Remember, we're going on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper eventually. So if you choose this scale and it's too big, just undo it and choose a smaller scale. So we're going to say, OK, quarter inch equals a foot. 
and x quarter inch equals a foot looks pretty good for a north view okay and at this point you can zoom in double click elevation one and you should be able to actually nope you should be able to change the text that it says here and we can go about doing that later but the point is that's our north side all right we can go over to here there's the camera that defines the north side all right so what's what's to the right of north what what's what's 90 degrees from north clockwise east, east. so if I'm gonna go east that's this side that's the back of the house I'm gonna click and drop it I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna send it to the layout with the same scale it's gonna be the same size All right here's east they can overlap as you can see here okay so there's north and east. Let's do south and west on the other two sides. Simple as that. Okay, so you're gonna go over to here. So north, east, let's do south. Look and let go. Zoom out, file, send a layout, keep the scale the same or else it's gonna to be too big. Adjust it, use your arrows. As you can see, I'm holding down the arrow right now and you can see it on the screen moving. All right, so we have north, east, south. Let's do west. Last one. This is the size, or the side that the sun comes up. So maybe the front of the house we have a sunroom. All right. So send the layout. Quarter inch equals a foot. And of course, you would use the text tool to annotate appropriately. That's it. Okay. I want to show you one more alternative view that I need you guys to do. So eyes on the screen, people. Dave, shh. I'm going to hold also um, shift, and I'm going to select all my views at once. And I'm just going to arrow them into the middle. All right, so there's three. Here's two. Here's one, right? Now, I don't have dimensions on this, so obviously sending a view the layout with dimensions would be helpful, but for the sake of today, I'm not going to do it, but you could shift A and send it to layout just like you did before, right? Just like you made dimensions on your shed, but for the sake of something different, I'm going to go back to my floor plan. I want you to select orthographic floor overview, which is shift G as in good. Okay, that's going to give your dollhouse view. At the top, you have display states, just like SolidWorks, wireframe, shaded with edges. Send this as an image, file, send the layout. I'm going to do this page four, and I'm going to do it as an image, because it's got a lot of color. And I'm going to shrink it. And I'll kind of just root, kind of nicely place it in the middle, just as a visual of what it should look like in 3D. Guys, shh. Last thing I need to do is some interior views. When you are showing someone your building, you're going to go inside and show interior views. Last shot, the bell's going to ring. You're going to drop this down and choose full camera. Stand inside a room, click and drag, and of course it would need to be interior decorated. Send this as a layout, as an image, and it's done. Those are all the things you need to see. So tomorrow you're going to work on collecting a variety of things per what I ask. Anybody have any questions? Should be simple, and it should be pretty easy at that point, okay? All right, at this point, I'm going to end my stream, and I'm hoping YouTube will have recorded this.